Mission. This is Mike with Suitables here with the instructional build video for the Cinderella Pumpkin Coach. Here's what it looks like completed. Now let's get building. All right, so to get started building your Cinderella Pumpkin Coach, go ahead and open up the box. And what you're gonna do is take out all the kit pieces and just set them out onto a table. One of the things that we do with this kit is we put some of the more delicate pieces inside this larger body structure here. You can see the front and back panels and the horses are in there. So just go ahead and pull out any pieces, dump out any pieces that you see in there, and then set those aside out on the table and we can get started. Now before we get building, what we need to do is look at all the kit pieces and you're going to find all of these little cardboard chads on all the slots and you're going to punch those out. So I like to use my thumbnail or my fingernail to just kind of push on one side and then it pops them through on the other side then you can reach over and pull them out and that's pretty quick and easy to do so just go ahead and do that there's a little chads there on 14 17 16 and just go ahead and search all the kit pieces for any of those chads and pop them out and then we can get started building so we're going to move on to this back panel here in step one with 1a and 1b and we're going to start by pre-folding the flaps on this panel and pre-folding all of the tabs so just go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna to come to the main body structure and we're gonna look for slots 1A and 1B to install tabs 1A and 1B. There's an A side and a B side to the coach. Flip it over once those are installed and then you're gonna rotate this panel up. Rotate it up just like this. And then you're going to install tabs 2A and 2B into their slots and then move up to three. You wanna just get the tabs started as you work your way up. Don't worry about snapping them all the way in that's gonna come once we get all the tabs situated in their slots. All right, so now that all the tabs are in place, we can start snapping them all in, little by little, just work them in until they're all snapped in. I like to brace it against my body like this, just so that it lets me uh, push down on them without the body sliding away from me. Then you're gonna move on to the panel with the gold seat. That's the front panel. And we're gonna be installing this one. So start by just folding the flaps with the slots into the body structure there, all those flaps. And then you're gonna to come to this piece, break it in on all the score lines and all the tabs, pre-fold all the score lines and tabs. And then we're gonna come on to step five. Look for slots 5A and 5B and tabs 5A and 5B. And you're gonna go ahead and just push those tabs into their respective slots. You can also pull from the inside if you need to. And then rotate the panel up and you're gonna start inserting tabs 6A and 6B into their respective slots. And again, don't snap them all the way in, just get them started and work your way up like I'm doing here until you get up to tabs 8A and 8B and go ahead and push all those into place. Once those are all snapped in, the front panel is in, then we can move on to the next step. Now we're gonna be installing this box here in step nine. To do that, you're gonna go ahead and remove the chads from the box and we're gonna pre-fold on all the score lines to assemble the box. And then finish the assembly by inserting tab nine into slot nine and snap that into place. All right, now this, this box does have triangular chads on it as well and you can remove those and set those aside. We no longer need them. And Step 10 is to insert the box into the slots on the body structure. So just go ahead and push that down, help those tabs find all their slots and push it down. You can also turn the coach on its side and push down on the top of the box while bracing from the bottom side of the coach and pull on the tabs too to get them installed. And now the box is in. Next, we're gonna move on to this piece with step 11 on it. And we're just gonna start by pre-folding on all the score lines on this piece. Make sure you break them in really well all these flaps, break in the tabs too, all the score lines on the middle of the tabs. Start by inserting tab 11 into slot 11 and then tab 12. They're different lengths, so you wanna follow the order there. All right, snap that all together. Fold flaps 14 inward. And what you're gonna do here in step 13 is you're gonna install it into the front of the coach and it's gonna slide into those triangular openings there. And what you can do is just push down on the triangular opening. And again, this is optional. If you don't want to install the horses, you don't have to do this step. 
And then you're gonna pinch it through, just pinch it to fit it through because it is a tight fit. And step 13 is to just slide this triangular rod through the triangular openings in the box where it says 13. Now, if those little flaps 14 get hung up inside the box, you wanna pinch those in so that they can clear the openings. Now, this is a really snug fit, so you wanna take your time and just be patient and just work it little, a little by little until it's all the way through. Once it's through, fold flaps 14 open. There's a little bit of a typo here with the next step because it's another step 14 right here. You can see 14 there, it's a typo. But we're gonna redo another step 14. So pre-fold on all the score lines on this piece. Really get your palms down and break these score lines in. Just push down really hard. Break in everything here. Break in little, those little 14 flaps. For step 14.2, I guess. And then fold this diamond triangle back and then assemble the rod around those flaps, around that di uh, diamond uh, triangle there in the front. Pre-fold all of the tabs here. And then you're gonna start with 15 and then go on to 16, 17. Just get them started, curl them into place, into their slots, get them all started, and then you can kind of squeeze them all into place. Just kind of squeeze the whole thing, little by little, just work it in, use your thumbs, really press them in, and now that's complete. Next, we're gonna move on to this crossbar that slides through in 18 to those, those slots there. And we want the 18 to face down, and we want the gold vine to face forward towards the gold triangle there in the front. Now what we need to do is pinch the opening to fit into the slot, pinch that down really hard to make it skinny so it'll fit through the slot because this is a really tight fit so it holds the horses on real snug to the carriage. And then just by bracing it on the other side, push it all the way through. You can see how I'm bracing it with my finger there and then go ahead and center it in the slot. Then you're gonna open up the flaps where those oval diamonds are on either side. Just open up those flaps. And then we're gonna grab the twin stick strip from inside the baggie. There are two two inch twin sticks here. We're gonna remove one of them. And what we wanna do is just line it up, center it on those flaps right here on one side and go ahead and press it on. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Grab the remaining two inch twin stick pad from the backing and go ahead and install it on that side. All right. And now what we wanna do is we wanna push this through on the front of the coach. So to do that, what we need to do is pinch the front, pinch that opening there of that triangular rod, pinch that really good and break it in because it's gonna have to fit into this really snug opening here where there's a, a tab and brace it from the backside when you push and push hard. If it doesn't fit the first time, that's okay. Just go ahead and pinch it more and just kind of crush it down a little bit in the front and then just wiggle it and work it into place. Okay, so next we're gonna be flipping the coach over so we can install the adhesive Velcro strips. And there are four of these that will hold the straps on inside. Remove the backing from one of the adhe adhesive strips. These are hook Velcro and the straps are loop Velcro. So we're gonna be installing that just right in front of the tab there on the right and left sides of the opening. And press it down. I like to press it down against a table like this, like a flat surface, so you can really press hard and you can rub it down firmly to make sure it sticks really well. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and just install all four of these hook Velcro strips inside on either side of the opening. Placement isn't super critical as long as you have a good foundation for the straps to connect to on the right and left sides. Just make sure you stick them down really well, rub them down to the surface and then we'll move on to installing the straps. Now, the straps in the kit, they're stretchy loop Velcro, very comfortable straps, and the entire strap is loop Velcro. So you can adjust the slack that you wanna put in or take out on these straps any way you like um, so that it'll adjust the height that the coach will sit on your child. And what you want to do is install these straps in an X pattern. So start on one side and then cross it over to the other side. Just make sure that the slack you have on either end are equal on both sides. So the straps will sit evenly on both sides. Then when you put it on your child, make sure that the straight opening sits in the front where their chest and neck is and the cross sits on their back. 
Next, we're gonna move on to the side panels. We're gonna install those onto the body structure. So we need to remove all the twin stick pad backings from the body structure. So just go ahead and remove all those twin stick pad backings. And then what you're gonna do is find the large wheel and the small wheel on the side panel, on the body panel here. And you're gonna be installing the large wheel where it says large wheel and the smaller wheel where it says smaller wheel. Look for the notches right here in the little corners where the wheels meet the coach and you're gonna be putting those notches right where those blue arrows are on the black line. So again, front wheel is the small wheel, the rear wheel is the large wheel. And just go ahead and rotate it down and then press it down. Now to really press it down firmly, you can turn it over onto a table and then press it down onto a table like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So remove the backing from the twin sticks and then we're gonna grab our side panel and again, identify the larger wheel and the smaller wheel. There's the small wheel and the large wheel. The small wheel goes in front, the large wheel goes in back. And then look for those notches and line those up just like we did on the other side, right to the blue arrows on the black line and then rotate it down, press it down and then we can flip the carriage over and then we can press down firmly onto a flat surface like a table there and get it to stick really well. All right, so next we're gonna be installing the horses. There are two horses in the kit and they are different. One has brown eyes and one has blue eyes and they're in different poses. And just grab whichever horse you like and remove the two inch twin stick pad backing from one side of our rigging crossbar. And then you're gonna go ahead and with the feet of the horse flat onto the table, right here, level on the table, just slide it towards the twin stick pad and then go ahead and press it down right on the gold ribbon there and press it down firmly. Make sure you really squeeze that on. The horses are flexible too, so they'll take a little bit of a beating before they, they bend or break. Then remove the twin stick backing from the other side and you're gonna do the same thing here. So take the next horse, you wanna line it up, kind of lined up to the next one and then go ahead and slide it onto the twin stick pad with the feet on the ground and then press on the pink diamonds to secure it on. And that's what it looks like with the horses installed. It can be worn with or without the horses. So there, there's what it looks like with the horses on the front. You can wear it like that. Now the horses are optional. So if you wanna take them off, you can just pull them right out at any time and you can push them back in. So there is the Cinderella Pumpkin Coach by Suitables. We hope you had a lot of fun building it and that your child has a lot of fun playing in it. Until next time.